Right. Right. Okay. Right. Oh, it's me, isn't it? Yeah, it's you. Hello. Hello. And welcome to well Plot done. Twist. Oh. You said it was your episode, so I was like, oh, yeah, no, I forget the other. Anyway, uh, hello. Welcome to Plot Twist. And, hello. Uh, what yeah, are we welcome. doing this week, James? This week, we are doing a video game. Oh, shit. No you, you don't actually know what game it is. It's a Perfect Dark. A what? Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark. I've heard of that one. It's a. It was originally like the successor to GoldenEye for the N64. All oh, right, I have absolutely. It's not a no- sequel. It's not nothing to do with GoldenEye. It's just like run off the same engine and shit. Oh right. Don't know anything about it. I think isn't Ray a big fan of it? I don't know. Actually, yeah, we played multiplayer at one point, so I think maybe. Okay, your first question is. Who is this? Your time starts now. This is Hilda, human interaction designated automobot. And she is a robot that uh, takes you through the, like, she's kind of like a tutorial bot time type up. thing. No, for one, it's a man. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, those kind of look like female eyebrows. To be fair, I thought it is a woman the whole game. <laughs> it wasn't until I was researching it. Even... Right, I can tell you a name. Her name's Doc. Well, his name, fuck. His name is Doctor <laughs> Carol. So I thought his name's Doctor Carol as well. How is? Yeah. How is that not a lady? It, I know. I mean, it, I mean, it's a robot, right? So it's kind of like gender neutral. But yeah, it sounds a bit like a um, woman as well. But he, he's referred to as a he, <laughs> uh, and apparently as a he. All right. Anyway, I mean, he can is, he, whatever he wants. It's, whatever he wants. Whatever it is. I'm <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Okay, Daniel. Yes. Why is Data Dine helping the Skader? Your time starts now. Okay, first off, don't call me Daniel. And also, I did not catch any there. Why is Data helping... Um, oh, because they, they they want more data. It's all about getting more data. They want to remarket to people and you use the data for nefarious reasons. I gave like... you two extra seconds considering you spent <laughs> the first five telling me not to call you Daniel, Daniel. <laughs> but anyway, no, no they I don't know. want more data. They... Right. Do not. I was lost on that one. Do you, did you even hear what I called them? It's something about the, the data bots and how they what, want what they wanted from the like datatrons or something. No, I called them Skada. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Skidoo. Skada. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Um, what is at the bottom of the ocean, and how can you get there? If time starts now. The bottom of the ocean holds Atlantis. It's uh, a forgotten kingdom. We all know it. Uh, and the way you get there is by swimming and holding your breath for a long... No, uh, a submarine. Submarine. Time right? stop. Time or stop. A lift. So t- time up. <laughs> well, yeah, submarine, sort of, but you didn't say how you get the submarine. That's more of the bigger thing and who oh, right. doing anything anyway. I'm giving you hints. <laughs> okay. And finally, your final question oh, is your picture uh... question, which is related to the picture which I sent you just now. Oh. Uh, who is he? <laughs> your time starts now. This is uh, Keith... He's oh he's a he's an alien, but he doesn't think he's an alien. He landed on Earth. He landed in like Missouri or something, and uh, he he's a, a right heart of Time's gold. Up. American. Fucking Missouri. Where did Missouri? <laughs> I don't know. It's just somewhere in, in America. He's an alien no, that thinks Keith. he's an American. I'll let you try and guess his name again. It's a bit of a unique name. I can only think of one other person I know of like who have been called this name. Prick. <laughs> oh, uh, Gar. Gandhi? And, it's fucking um, Elvis. Elvis. Anyway. Oh, it even says it in the URL of the picture you okay, showed Dan. me. <laughs> you have 30 seconds to try and explain the plot of the game. Your time starts now. Okay. Elvis has come to Earth, uh, and, and he was brought up and raised as uh, as a human, but he suddenly realised that, oh, actually, no, I'm different to everyone else. I'm, I'm an alien. And then it sort of, like, bursts. Uh, he, he... Oh, okay. So there's a, a weapon that his alien ancestors left underwater... You play as the alien, and you have to find the 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 weapon in order to destroy Earth. You get you get a submarine from. Time's up. Uh, who'd you get it from? Well, it's like Area Fifty One. Oh well, Area Fifty One's in the game. You don't get the submarine from there. Oh, okay. You didn't even <laughs> mention Doctor Carol in your plot. Oh, and Doctor Carol's there as well. <laughs> Uh, you okay. are Joanna Dark. Basically, there's these two alien races. The one's called the Skadar, or however you pronounce it. Oh, quick question. Bonus question. Okay. Who's Mr. Blonde? Mr. Blonde is the love interest for Carol. No, for never whatever. mind. Scrap He's that. Blonde. Is anyway, he blonde? He is, so- well, no. He's a big <laughs> fucking alien. Anyway, 
So the the skater and the Malayans, I think. No, not the Malayans. But anyway, Malala. That Elvis is a Malala. Anyway, so you're from the company called something. I can't remember what you're called. But there's also Data Dime, which is a bad company. They're helping help helping. They're helping the skater who wants to get this thing from the bottom of the ocean. And in reward, skater has given them technology such as invisibility, shields, this stuff that can make like you look different. They're basically a they're making them the most profitable country country right. company in the world. Shit. So Data Dine is helping them get this thing. In order to get this thing, they need to get this submarine known as Pegasus 2, I think, which belongs to the president. Uh. So Data Dine are now going to go get the Mr. President to try and agree to them, but Mr. President doesn't want to agree to them, so they kidnap the president and clone him instead. <coughs> and shit. You're chasing them, and your Mr. What's-His-Face helps you by saying, I'll bring in my friends who happen to be these aliens who get shot down and crash. So you have to go into Area 51, find Elvis, free him. The doctor's scientist guys kill themselves with the gas, and you've got to escape with Elvis, and then Elvis will help you by flying the ship, and you fly into a plane, and you find the president. You're like, the president, yo, these people are trying to steal your thing. And... Then Elvis is like, the skaters start attacking the plane and Air Force One and Elvis is like, I've got no guns on my ship. So he flies just straight into the plane and crashes and you all crash. And then Trent, who's the guy who's trying to convince the president, is like, oh, Dr. Mr. Blonde, I, I failed at helping convince the president. We blah. And Mr. Blonde turns out, oh, plot twist, he's actually a skater, a big motherfucking alien. Oh, shit. And he's like, fuck you, Trent, don't need you anymore and eats him or whatever. Dr. Carroll, your first mission is to find Dr. Carroll. Completely forgot about him. Dr. God, Carroll God, goes... God. I'm not following any of this. <laughs> so Dr. Carroll goes back to the mansion with your boss. Your boss gets interrogated. They find Dr. Carroll, take him back, swap out his memory with a new one. The reason they want Dr. Carroll is at the bottom of the ship, it turns out, oh, it's actually a weapon. Why do they want the weapon? Well, it turns out the weapon can blow up planets. Oh, the skater, I said that. Test... Yes, you sort of said that, but you said it was the Malayalos weapon but okay. the skater wants to test earth by blowing up earth to see if it will work so they can use it on the blah, blah, blah. anyway dr carol's the only one who can activate this weapon so the skater i need dr carol so they have to go five you to go and dr carol then dr carol actually activates the weapon and you fly off to space to the skater's home planet with elvis and now elvis is like oh hey you deaf and you fight this giant monster thing and dr carol's bad but then you plug something in and dr carol's good and Perfect Dark is confusing and you defeat yeah, Skater no and then it, shit. it ends with you in space with Elvis who apparently in the sequel that didn't happen because there is a sequel to this game but there's one that didn't happen apparently Elvis turns into a dick on the flight back into a literal dick? no not an actual flaccid penis alright oh, a hard he... penis? no oh. not not a penis as in he just becomes like real salty I'll be honest with you, James. I I did not follow any of that. I heard the thing about the weapon, and that was something I said. So I think we can agree that I aced it. Plot twist. <laughs>